थर्टीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलकुम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय रबिया जावेद फर्स्ट दी हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर शबाज शरीफ हैज लॉडेड द सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेज फॉर कंडक्टिंग सक्सेसफुल ऑपरेशन अगेंस्ट द टेररिस्ट इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट खेट On the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons today the president has expressed commitment to effectively combat the menace of human trafficking At the United Nations Pakistan has fully supported the General Assembly adopted resolution declaring Central Asia a zone of peace trust and cooperation In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one Kashmiri youth in Baramulla district today And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shah Sharif has lauded the security forces for conducting successful operation against the terrorist in District K. In a statement, he condoled with the bereaved family of Hawaldar Hadayatullah, who embraced martyrdom in the operation and prayed for early recovery of the injured. Naik Mir Muhammad Shah Sharif said, "Hawaldar Hadayatullah embraced shahadat for the country and the entire nation. Salute to his martyrs." According to ISP six terrorists were killed in the operation which was conducted in Khushab area on information regarding movement of the terrorist group on motorcycles towards Panjagar from Khej a large scale of arms and ammunition were also recovered from the terrorists during the engagement Hawaldar Hadayatullah embraced shahadat while Naik Mir Muhammad was injured World Day Against Trafficking in Persons is being observed today to raise awareness regarding the plight of victims of human trafficking and to promote and protect their rights. This year the day is being observed under the theme Use and Abuse of Technology to focus on the role of technology as a tool that can both enable and impede human trafficking. In his message on the occasion Dr. Arif Alvi expressed the commitment to combat the menace of human trafficking by establishing and effective coordination in infrastructure to prosecute traffickers and protect victims underscoring the stringent anti trafficking measures by pakistan in line with international standards the president mentioned the trafficking in persons act 2018 to prevent and combat human trafficking he also appreciated the relevant federal and provisional department for a national action plan to combat human trafficking and migrant smuggling 2021 to 2025 at the united nations pakistan has fully supported the general assembly adopted resolution declaring central asia a zone of peace trust and cooperation in a statement pakistan's permanent representative to the united nations munir akram said pakistan fully supports this timely resolution and its objectives He said Pakistan is committed to building connectivity and cooperation in trade, investment, transport, energy and other sectors with its Central Asian neighbors. The Pakistan envoy stressed the need of ensuring durable peace and security in Afghanistan for sustainable peace in the region. He particularly called for sustained engagement with the Afghan government by at all six immediate neighbors. In Balochistan relief and rescue activities are underway in a district affected by the heavy monsoon rains. Provisional Disaster Management Authority Balochistan distributed relief items among 12 families in a Dasht Nalik area of district Khej. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif's visit to flood affected areas of Sindh and Balochistan has been postponed due to the inclement weather. The Prime Minister was to review rescue and relief activities in the rain and flood hit areas. Pakistan's ambassador to the United States Masood Khan has said that Pakistan exports to the United States have marked year on year rise with a total volume of 9 billion at an annual growth rate of 35%. He said that impressive growth of Pakistan's exports to the United States is trend setter for the country's other exports destinations around the world. Ambassador Masood Khan said that in the past few months Pakistan and the United States have been engaged to promote trade and investment between the two countries as well as to enhance the cooperation in the health agriculture and tech sectors in indian illegally occupied jammu and kashmir indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one kashmiri youth in baramulla district today the troops martyred the youth during a cordon and search 
Krishan in a venable gala areas of the district. Earlier, two Indian soldiers and one policeman were injured in an attack in the same area. The operation was going on till last reports came in. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news officials.